This is Bill with BP Automotive. We're going to go over a couple things as far as crimp tooling today. Uh, we already have a video up, but we figured we'd get a little better quality one and maybe do a little bit more in-depth or a more repeated test for you. So what we've got here is a production hand tool. So this meets Delphi's crimp standards for height and width down to the tenth or hundredth of a millimeter. And this is also a Delphi tool, but it is a repair tool. So yes, it is ratcheting, and a lot of guys, you know, they'll see it and they'll say, well, it says Delphi on it and it ratchets, and that means that's we're using the right tool, and, and that's incorrect. This is just for repair use. So you'll see this at like a repair shop or a dealership, and Delphi states that you're supposed to solder the terminal after you crimp it. So uh, we don't do that here because you'll never find that in a GM harness. You'll never find a crimped and soldered uh, harness inside a connector. Uh, so what we're gonna do, is uh, we're going to go over this crimp information sheet and what's on it and then we're also going to post a link to this uh, it'll link you straight to Delphi site which is now called active um, and you'll be able to see this actual sheet with the numbers on it uh, so what we have here is, is terminal part number 1530 4720 and this terminal is what goes into our, our Equinox fan connectors uh, that we that we build uh, to uh, repair a common issue on those vehicles. Um, they use this terminal uh, and they use 12 gauge wire, which is 3.0 millimeters squared. Because everything on here is, is not gonna show you the, the, uh, the gauge size, it's gonna show you the, uh, the size in millimeters squared. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure these two wires that I just depend out of here and we'll measure the crimp height and width on those and we will crimp one and then we will also measure the crimp height and width on that to show you the accuracy of this tool okay so for crimp height you have a tolerance of five hundredths and for the crimp width you have a tolerance of a tenth of a millimeter so that means you could go plus or minus five hundredths on the height or plus or minus one tenth on the core crimp width okay so we're going to get our digital dial caliper here and we'll make sure we're zeroed we'll go ahead and zero it and then you'll see on the back of the terminal you see an indentation right here uh, this has to have a cutout to get into that indentation to properly read the core crimp height so we're going to go ahead and measure the core crimp height on and width on both of these so for the first one, we've got 2.11. And the core crimp height for 3.0 millimeters squared is supposed to be 2.1. So we are within one hundredth of the core crimp height. Um, so we are well within the tolerances of five hundredths. So we're going to measure this one as well. And we are at right right on it man it's kind of floating right on it uh and uh so we'll say 2.11 on that one as well so this tool crimped both of these terminals down to a hundredth of a millimeter in crimp height both times it crimped them the same so we're going to measure the core crimp width on this and we are at 2.70 and it is supposed to be 2.65. So we are within five hundredths uh, on the core crimp width and we have up to 10 one hundredths or one tenth uh, a tolerance on this. So we're still well within tolerance. And This one is at 2.71, which is uh, six one hundredths, uh, well within tolerance, uh, still well within tolerance. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and crimp one and then we'll measure that one as well, just to make sure that the tool is crimping like it needs to. So we're gonna go under 3.0 millimeters squared in the crimp tool because it has several different nests for crimping different size wires and different terminals because it has to be so accurate. So 
we will get this crimped and measured. Go ahead and zero our tool again just to be sure. And we are at 2.10, which is right on the money, down to the hundredth. And this one is at 2.71, the, the same as the last terminal. Uh, we are within six hundredths of a millimeter, uh, which is well within the tolerance. Uh, so as you can see, there, there is no comparison between this tool and this tool. Uh, this one crimps it perfect every time. Every last time we can crimp hundreds of terminals with this and it will meet the standards down to the tenth or hundredth of a millimeter. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it.